The local stars kicking up dirt and moving up the ranks in summer baseball. Welcome into sports, everyone. For the first time, Yuma is putting out a 16U All-Star baseball squad made up of some of the best young local talent to compete in a restructured senior little league, one that could take them all over the country by summer's end. So here they are, the YBBL senior all-star team hitting up the Raycroft Sports Complex earlier this afternoon for their third practice in as many days. All under the leadership of Yuma Criminals head baseball coach Nick Johnson, who's right there. Johnson getting the pleasure of sporting a roster of some of the best young talent across Yuma as they prepare for the first round of the Section 7 District Tournament in San Diego next week from June 28th through July 4th. A win in that double elimination bracket would send them all the way to Oakland, California the following week for the state tournament. It's a team of 16 players mixed from all area schools and they even got some older guys to come out today. Andrew Yee and Aiden Schmidgall to throw some live action off the mound. Both Coach Johnson and Gila Ridge's Isaiah Villalobos excited to get out there and showcase what Yuma has to offer. When you get them all together, it's something that's really special. You're right, there, there isn't any holes. You get the best 16-year-olds in the city uh, rocking together out here. And you don't look at, you know, you know Yuma High on their jersey or Kofa or Cibola or Gila Ridge or San Luis or, or Yuma Catholic. You don't look at any of that. You get to see them as individuals and coming together. There's a lot of depth, isn't, you know, and, that, and that's easy to, to just kind of take a step back a little bit, correct a few things. And uh, we're not trying to reinvent the will, but we are trying to strengthen their foundations throughout, the, throughout baseball. Uh, my favorite part about it is we get a chance to to show what Yuma could really do. You know, we have all these good ball players and nobody really sees them. So right now we get a chance. We can show it. Yeah, again they head out to San Diego next week. First pitch coming at six o'clock on Wednesday, and we of course wish them the very best of luck representing District 22. Now to some Summer League girls hoops. There's Chloe Roberts, the new Yuma Catholic girls head coach, and Scott Nielsen, another first year at the helm for Cibola. Lady Raiders, last season's Region Player of the Year, Isabella Molina in the house. YC down closing in on the end of the first half, but Jimena Poo getting the rocks on the board here off the inbound pass. Nice dish there. Final seconds of the half, though. The Raiders would pad their lead after the kiss off the glass of the buzzer. Good run for both of these young squads. But let's go to the game right before this between Chantal Montiel and the Copa Lady Kings and Carlos Ambrose and San Luis Lady Sidewinder. San Luis up here early, but here's Montiel in transition. Nice dish up ahead to Irene Martinez, who lays it up and in for the pair. A couple of trips later on the inbound pass to Alyssa Montoya using the eyes to find Mia Ibarra. And she uses the length over two Lady Kings to touch it off the glass for two. Kofa trying to answer. Missed shot here from the corner, but look at Alexis Arvoso. Gather the offensive board and bank it in while falling away. San Luis would go on to win by double digits, but coaches Tim Morrison and Carlos Ambris are just excited to get out on the floor and help each other improve. Just seeing um, you know the region grow together, we're, we're playing together. All the coaches communicate and, and getting this together. We just help each other and trying to to improve, and and it really helps you know playing each of the teams in the region. I was impressed with San Luis right now. They have some good young players that are up and coming, and then obviously teams that have been good recently in the past. They're still looking good, so uh, we have to work hard to try to be competitive with the teams in the city, and that's going to ultimately help us out when we're trying to do off-season stuff. Yeah, League of Yuma Catholic will pick back up next week and we'll continue to follow that along as we go. Meanwhile, have some summer league ball going on over in the Imperial Valley as well. Seven teams over on the boys' side that will compete at Imperial High School every Thursday night. We'll keep in touch with that as well. That's all the time we have for sports.